That's called an interference pattern. And only waves interfere. Now, let me explain it to you. You have, you stand there, a, a small lake or a puddle of water, which is very still. And you take a pebble and you drop it in there. You see, it drops in, and then you have these concentric circles going around. Some of them are high, and some of them are low, in between high and low, and high and low, and high and low. So if you look, it goes to all directions, of course. These waves go into all directions. If you look at one wavelength, uh, one wave direction, if you drop it in, it's here. So it makes a crest, then it goes down, drop, crest, down, drop, and so on. So this is how the waves move forward. And of course, we, it goes in all directions, it looks like a circle. Now, let's have two pebbles. And we have one here, and one here, we drop them at the same time. And then suddenly we see that they overlap in the middle, where the waves meet. And where the ones, the crests meet, it becomes higher. And where the troughs meet, it becomes lower. And so this is called interference. And this is what waves do. There is constructive interference. Let me see. I go back here. There's constructive interference. You have a crest to a crest. So they add up. So that it comes, the intensity becomes double as high, and the intensity becomes double as low. Uh, as low. This is called, it's called constructive interference. That's what wave does if they meet each other. If they are rightly timed, they interfere constructively. They can also interfere destructively. They are shifted by half wavelengths. And now you have a trough and a crest interfering with each other. What does it do? It wipes each other. They wipe each other out, so you won't see anything. That's where the still things are when you have this interference pattern. So you don't get anything. So in terms of light, you would get a much bright, a bright spot here and a dark spot here. So let's go back to this. And you see that we have these interferences here. So what happens here? There is the wave. Let's see, one wave goes in here. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. OK? The other waves have the same wavelengths. Wave has the same wavelengths. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So there's constructive interference there. And with this, you have a very bright spot. Now you can also have destructive interference. That would be here. This goes up, down, 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 up. And this one goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. OK? So now they have nothing. You don't see anything. It should be dark. And with this, you have a succession of bright spots, starts out very bright, then it gets dark, then it gets bright again, not bright as bright as before, dark, bright, dark, bright, and so on. With this, you have an interference pattern. And we know from physics that only waves interfere with each other. Nothing else can generate interference patterns. With this, I have shown to you that light is actually a wave. Of course, it doesn't do it. When you have all these wavelengths together, when you have polychromatic light in between there, they all interfere with each other, so you have nothing. Okay, you have everything white, because there, where one has a black spot, the other one has a, has a bright spot. So that's why you need monochromatic light, monochromatic light of one wavelength. So let's see if I can get Karen out of here. conduct an experiment, and I will show you an interference pattern. So we will have a red laser, and I, I'll take care of this. Here. We have a red laser, and then we have a grating. The grating splits the light. It doesn't split the light. It produces an interference pattern of that red laser. It's like a, like a it's two slits, OK? And so one second, let me switch this off here. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Can we see it up there? It's not so beautiful, OK? So here, it's pretty good. You can see it here. Oh, there I am. <laughs> OK, you can, if you look at the wall on the left side, you see that? There's this very dark spot here. And there's a light spot here. Light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And it gets less and less weak. Oh, it's sort of blurred. Maybe it's the camera. You need to focus a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So you see here, this is the brightest spot. There's a dark. Destructive interference, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, and so on until we don't see anything. So that shows you we have light of 612 nanometer. And we put it through these slits of the grating. And with this, we have, as you can see here, Wow, it's a big. Uh, you can see here we have this interference pattern. And so what I told you is actually true, like everything I tell you. Okay? <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Karen, and also the booze. Thank you very much. It was very good. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Now, so the crest has to hit the crest to be constructive interfering, and the crest has to hit the trough to be destructive interference. That would be dark. Now, how will the two-slit interference pattern? That's the two-slit interference. We've just seen it. That was the intensity. It was bright here, dark here, bright here, dark here, bright here, and so on. Huh? Dark, bright, dark, bright. Just yeah, most, most, the brightest one was here. This is why the intensity is the highest. Okay? So how will the two-slit interference pattern change upon the increase of lambda? How will it change? If I make a longer wavelength, will that pattern be smaller? Will it be the same? Or will it be spread out? How will that change, that pattern? Think about it right, on your own. I think it's usually on your own. But, uh, So you have interference also with polychromatic, right? Polychromatic, but you can see it because they're all the wavelengths interfere with each other, so you don't see anything. It doesn't take away the uh, wave nature of the light. How many were we? 400 something? Or three? I should write it down. I always say that. But it would make me depressed if then people sort of diffuse away and I have less and less. It was Channel 2 took the day some pictures of us. Miss Mikahelian, you've probably seen her on Channel 2. She was just here. Yeah? different than no camera. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't eat. That's an excellent answer. So, of course, you have a farther spread out pattern because the wave has to travel longer to hit the next wave, to hit the, the crest of the trough. So if you have here, there's our pattern. So this, they have equal path lengths. 
They have a peanut problem. You would always have a high density. But when you go to the next one, then this one has to travel just one half wave, one half wave length longer, or well, actually a full wave, half wave length longer, to cause the interference. That means it spreads out that pattern. Okay, so it travels further, and the larger the lambda, the greater the spacing. Remember that. That might be a good question. So that's the pattern. C was the answer. Now, anybody has a yellow burpee thing here? I only have the black and the orange and yellow. Anybody? So that I don't want to go to red, you know, for specific reasons. Uh, not in this lecture hall, but I don't want to point out to people in the lecture. Okay. Uh, so you know what red is? That's that tool over there. No, I can't remember the name. Of it. It's a good tool, though. It's a, they even play very good football. Uh, so anyhow, so we, we usually have here yellow and blue, and you have yellow right there. And so that I can see that yellow means that light is polychromatic. That fabric and that dye absorbs every color but yellow. So that yellow my, hits my eyeball, and the other colors get stuck in there, get absorbed. Okay. And you also have blue there. So that blue, that fabric or that dye absorbs everything but blue. And here with your green sweater, everything is absorbed but green because I see the green. Okay. So this is called absorption. That's how we see colors. So it's, it's hit by all these wavelengths of polychromatic light, but it only gives me back certain wavelengths. That's how we make colors. All right. So let's see. Yes, ma'am. Black and white is also uh, this absorbs everything. So I don't see anything. And white doesn't absorb anything. Okay. So that's white. Where's white? This is white. Doesn't absorb anything. It appears white like the light to me. Okay. And black absorbs everything. And but it doesn't mean that I don't see you. Okay. So this is our visible spectrum, and this is what absorption is. It takes out certain wavelengths or certain frequency out of that spectrum. And you have a continuous spectrum. That means this is your wavelengths here. Which is the longer wavelength? Which side is longer? This one or this one? The right side. That's about 700 nanometers, something like this. And this is about 400, something like this. So I'm plotting here, essentially, I plot the wavelengths. And here I plot the intensity. Now this one takes out that absorption. It tells me how much of it does it take out. So that takes out, and this would be the intensity here. It takes out nearly everything in this wavelength range. It takes out a little bit of this here. It takes out nothing here and nothing here. And in between here, it takes out partially some of it. Okay? That's how you can mix colors. You don't take only one wavelength out. You take partially some of them out and some of them not. So this is a continuous absorption spectrum. Now, of course, if something has absorbed light as energy, it can give off that energy again. And this would be emission. Now, an emission spectrum would be, uh-huh, that would be an emission spectrum. That could emit here. It emits this color. doesn't emit this color. A little bit of this color. More and more and more as you go along here. And there, it doesn't emit hardly anything at all. That's the zero line here. doesn't emit here, but it emits here. That would be an emission spectrum. You can also have this as a line spectrum, which shows you which lines are missing of the spectrum, which line it absorbs. And so this one would absorb this line, this line, this line, and this line. Okay? So the rest of it you would, would still be there, but this, these frequencies or these wavelengths would be absorbed. That's called a line spectrum. Now, matter can, matter can also emit certain energies. Certain lines. You know, there's nothing but energy. The frequency or wavelengths, waves are energy, and we come to this soon. So you have here, it emits this color, this color, this color, this color, this color, this color, these two colors, and this is an emission spectrum. Okay? It tells you this thing emits these kind of wavelengths. That's that simple. Now, if you look, you all see Avatar and so on, uh, and other, other 3D movies. About 50 years ago, there was a big thing. That I see you in three dimensions is that my eye, this eye, sees a different picture than this eye. And then in my brain, it starts making a three dimensional picture. Our eyes are not three dimensional. I see you, the wavelength travels to you here, or travels back to me, and it has to travel, it travels differently to this eye. So in order to see your nose, I see your nose three-dimensional. The wave travel, di uh, travel different. I see different pictures, two different pictures. So you could make this, and this is how these 3D movies work. You trick your brain. You make one picture, one color, and then you have glasses that one eye only sees that color. The other doesn't see it. And you make another picture, the other color, and you have glasses that that eye only sees that color. So actually, the two eyes see each a different picture, and the picture is slightly overlaid from each other. If you look at this here, it looks terrible, doesn't it? It's just, it actually is two pictures on top of each other. Now, if you put on your glasses, with, <laughs> with this one, I see everything this is red, okay? And with this one, I see everything this is blue. And if I have anything blue here, it looks black to me because it doesn't come through here. If I have anything red to me, red to me, it looks essentially black if it's the right, right way of doing it. So why don't you look at that picture and see how you get tricked? Is this three-dimensional? Can you see it three-dimensional? So the right one is, is the, the red one is on the left and the, right, and the blue one is on the right. Otherwise, you don't trick your brain right. You see it three-dimensional? How about this one? That's a buckyball, right? That's all about light. And you only see certain wavelengths because the one eye sees a different wavelength than the other. And I have two pictures which are sensitive to different colors. Now let's look at this one here. That looks terrible. Look at three-dimensional. Look at the glasses. How, how terrible it looks. See that? And then. Who didn't have a color glasses? Everybody has color glasses? Good. <laughs> on a rainy day, very important. Now this one here, no, this one is a question. So I need from you these glasses back. I know they are of really of no use to you, and they are not that expensive, but if you have a thousand of those, it gets in the money, okay? So on the other when you leave, put them please in the bins there, and give them all back that we can reuse them again, all right? We appreciate it. So now let's see if you have understood what I told you before. You have an, an, an object, and this is the absorption spectrum. This is the absorption spectrum, and this is the object. This is the object that has to, if you shine light on this, this is what it absorbs, okay? That's the absorption spectrum. What is the color of this? Is it blue, green, or red? That's an absorption spectrum. What is the color of it? Absorbing means what? So we do interaction with matter, with light with matter, okay? Object is our matter. We are also object, unfortunately.
You need to make sure you click in. Okay, we still have a minute, two minutes actually. Yes, very good. Of course, if you look at this here, that absorbs these colors here. It lets this one through. There's no absorption. With this one, this is sort of in the blue here. Uh-huh, there you go. The answer was blue, and I see you on Wednesday. Okay. Petition. <laughs>